In this video, we are going to learn about how we can add text, logo or image on a t-shirt or fabric by using displacement map. So without wasting any kind of time, let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and in this video we will learn about displacement map and how we can add our text, image or logo on a t-shirt or any fabric which have curves and foldings on its surface. So let's start our work. First of all what we need to do is we have this t-shirt and we know that on a t-shirt or on any fabric you will see there is a lots of detail. You will see this detail. Let me just zoom it in a little bit more. As you can see this detail so what we need to do is we need to hide this detail so for hiding detail and uh, we will desaturate this image for desaturating this image first of all the first step we have to do is we'll press ctrl shift u from our keyboard or we can do one more thing which is going to image adjustment and uh, desaturate which will do the same thing now we have desaturated the color and this is a simple black and white uh, image now what we'll do is we will go to uh, filter blur and gaussian blur and now we will hide the detail which i was talking about that we have to hide the details now keep in mind that your details should be hidden but the curves and foldings should be left or should be visible as you can see that if we decrease the value you will see the detail is as it is curves are as well but when we too much increase you will see the details is also gone and these uh, curves are also gone so we don't have to do this we will find a central way how we'll gradually increase the blur amount and keep in mind here that the details is slowly going out but still the detail is here we'll increase the detail to approximately four and we will see the detail is still here we'll increase it up to I think it should be six and now you will see the detail is gone but the curves are there we'll go to seven which is much better choice as you can see the curves are left but the detail is gone let's just decrease this to 6.5 which is much better and if we increase it to seven nice so 6.5 is much better now we'll hit ok now the blur amount is applied now we will save this as PSD displacement map. Now we'll go to file, save as, save on our computer. Yes, of course. And uh, we'll add a folder. And just for uh, example, I'm putting at displacement. Nice. Open this folder and we will save our PSD file with the name of displacement map. You can save it with any name. I'm saving it with the displacement map name and uh, save it the location which you could find easily and save it as PSD. We'll click on save. Now this image is saved. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll simply uh, add our image as you can see this image again into Photoshop because uh, my, in my latest version the file is saved originally in the document so I am drawing this image again and you will see this is the same image uh, which I have used into this displacement map so we will close the displacement map and now you will see this image is again back now what we will do is we will add some text so we will create a text file here by pressing T from our keyboard or just, just select this text and now we will add our text we will add our text like your suppose this is logo the method is same for every step this is our logo we will decrease some space between these text we'll call up our character tool and decrease the space a little bit nice Mm, it's it's good here nice now we have added our text but you will see that it's not realistic as you know it's just fake it looks like the shirt is behind and the front on the front we have edited on edited text how we can make it real 
now the real work is starting from here what we'll do is we'll go to filter distort displace yes it is asking about uh, would you like to conf uh, transfer your convert your layer to smart object yes of course i want to convert it into a smart object now displace before we apply this try to uh, you know value down to value up like at this time it's 20 20 we will try to apply from 15 to 15 to check if the value is good basically it will uh, shear or we can say that the change the shape of the text according to the displacement map which we have saved now make sure that this stretch to fit uh, fit is selected from under defined areas repeated edge pixel is also selected and make sure the embed uh, file data in smart object is checked now the value is 15 and 15 by horizontal and vertical we will click on ok to see uh, what happens with this and now you will see it is uh, the dialog box is open and it is saying that where have you located that file now as you know that where you have saved your file just go to that location and select that displacement map file and click on open as you can see the value is much better but you will see this is not uh, as much curved as we need as you can see it's nice here but not that much what we'll do is press ctrl z from our keyboard and we will apply this again by going filter distort and displace click on convert to smart object this time we will apply 20 by 20 and everything is as it is hit ok and again it will ask about it will ask about uh, where you have located or saved that file we will okay, open that location and select that file and click on open and at this time you will see the amount is little bit increased as you can see the amount is little bit increased and it's much better than before now it still not looks so real now the only step is left which is just right click on your uh, text layer right click on this and click on blending options and now we'll apply blend if on displacement map here is the blend is uh, blend if uh, option and now we'll select or click this black slider which is underlying layer and move it to the right side and move until you will see your text start shearing just to click on alt and click and you will see these two sliders will be separated and now we will uh, increase this to the left side right side sorry and you will see this will uh, start appearing to the left side and the underlying texture will be revealed slowly now it's all depends on your, on your choice if you increase this value it will look much you will see grungy text you know but I think it's uh, much better here and you can increase as much as you want but I think it will much better here okay one more thing I would like to tell you that if you have your text or logo white we will uh, use this black side slider and if your text is black use this white side slider and do the same thing as I did in this black slider side so it okay and you will see it looks much real and you can decrease the opacity to make it as your choice thing in this same way in this same method you can add image or logo let me show you what I have done with this as you can see this is the logo okay and this is the logo and I will show you just double click on this and you will see I have already done with this and uh, as you can see I can increase or decrease the values I can decrease the amount of uh, you know fabric which will be visible behind this uh, logo and I can increase the value like I think it, it it's nice here you can increase as much as you want but I think it's nice here now one more thing you can do here you can change the color also the original color is this white color you can change it to any color like this one this one this one this one as much uh, as whatever you like it okay okay this is the logo you can not only add logos you can add designs let me just show you this is the design I have added okay not only design you can add your image on t-shirt as you can see 
and uh, this is how you can do stuff in photoshop by using displacement map and this is the way you can add your logo on a t-shirt uh, which is requested by someone on my channel i don't i forget his name so this process is not applicable for all type of mockups you know there are different kind of fabrics different kind of stuff different kind of designs different kind of products so the same step cannot be applied on each and everything okay there are different ways i will teach each and every way to design or branding your logos or branding your text on any product i hope you found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe and we will meet in our next video keep in mind have fun with photoshop and be creative